2023 St. Baldrick's Foundation National Shave. What a day this is. What a moment. We have over 156 participants registered today that are raising funds for childhood pediatric cancer research and awareness. And last time I checked the delightful board online, we were up to $117,000 raised together. So if you're clapping for yourself, giving yourself spirit fingers, raising the roof, whatever it is, be proud of yourself, pat yourself on the back. You are part of something so much bigger than our own selves individually. So congratulations to that. As we get started, we want to remind you that you're more than welcome to invite your friends to check out this live stream happening right now, because we are going to be lifting up all the proud individuals today that are shaving. So welcome officially, and I don't want to be rude. Let me introduce myself. I am your humble host, dear hero shavers. My name's Phil Januszewski, and I'm one half of the speaking duo known as m &P Presentations. And it is my pleasure and privilege and humble, distinct honor to be hosting today in order to lift you all up. Before we get officially started and kick off, we wanna make sure that you all feel comfortable, safe, and know what's going on. So number one, get ready to have some fun. We are excited to cheer each other on and make a huge dent in impact in the world today. Part number two as well, if you haven't noticed, please feel free to take a look at the G and number next to your name in Zoom right now. That is going to let you know what group you're going to be shaving in. So for example, if you're G2, you are going to be our second wave of shavers that will turn your videos on when group two is shaving. So what that means is once we get things kicked off, friends, I'll ask, okay, group ones, if you're a group one, feel free to turn on your screens. You can stay muted. And what we'll do is everyone else that's not group one can turn their screens off uh, for, the, for the moment so that we can lift up our group ones. And from there, I'll start to get to know the different shavies and groups so that we can hear your stories, a little bit about why you're shaving and what St. Baldrick's means to you. From there, we'll then celebrate group one and go to the next group and the next group. So in case you were curious what that G means, that is your group. Quick number three rule there and reminder, this is a live stream and of course the St. Baldrick supports families. So even though you may be super excited, we're keeping everything a G rating when we talk. Is that fair to say, Ms. Kelsey? We wanna keep it a nice G Pixar rating. So if you yes, are please. super hyped up, <laughs> Uh, just remember that we are in a family event. Not that I think I've got to worry about any of you doing that, but we just wanted to make sure that we let you know that. Number four, just in case sometimes it's accidental, please try to keep yourself muted and you're more than welcome to hide your video again once your group is not on. That way it's easier for us at the wonderful St. Baldrick's crew to figure out who is shaving and who isn't. So that just helps us out big time. And then as always, if you need anything at all during the shave and you're confused, the wonderful crew at St. Baldrick's is here to help. Feel free to just put in the chat if you have a question. You can also reach out to an individual St. Baldrick's member by clicking on the chat instead of clicking everyone. You can find our co-hosts and hosts and they have the name St. Baldrick's after it. So you know that they work for the organization and they can specifically help you. Guys, we're here to have a great time. We want you to feel comfortable. We want you to celebrate. So don't forget to do that. And if you see this big screen, don't forget to take a big quick screenshot, share that, post that on Instagram. Don't forget to tag Facebook. Don't forget to tag Instagram St. Baldrick's. Let them know what's going on. We want to see all the heroes. Okay. We are about ready and good to go. And hopefully as people are trickling in, they too can uh, get ready in a group so that we can start the shave. So let's do this. If you aren't aware, and friends, if you're able in the chat box, let's light up that chat box. Let us know if this is year one, two, three, four, 17 for you. We want to see the numbers in there in that chat box. If you're able, let us know. It's just nice to see that we've got some recurring people and some brand newbies there because that's going to be such an inspiration to us. James Duffy, I see number nine in there. 15 years, oh my goodness, 10 years, first timer, 11 year, year nine, year 18, 12 years. What an inspiration. For those of you who can't see the chat box right now in the live, 
we are lighting up the chat box with a bunch of great numbers here. So first timers, thank you for being here and congratulations and welcome. And to our repeaters, thank you so much for being a part of this yet again. And friends, if you haven't noticed, I've got short hair too. I'm with you. I shaved last Friday. It was my proud year 14 for St. Baldrick's. So I'm here in the trenches with you. Let's keep doing this. All right. So friends, we were going to have our honored special kid guest today, Mia. Unfortunately, Mia has been feeling under the weather today. So we didn't try to push her and force her to be online. But Mia, if you hear us, if you're seeing this, we're sending love and good energy your way. And we can't wait to catch up with you sooner than later. All right. But health and happiness for you. Okay. Get well and get better soon. Later today, we're going to have a special guest talk to us about what St. Baldrick's means to them. Dr. John Prenzner is going to come in and jump in and talk to us a little bit. But before we get into that, and we can jump into that whenever, Kelsey, if it's a thumbs up to you, I think I'm about ready to get this virtual shave party started. So all my group ones, G1s in the house, if you are a G1, feel free to Open up your screen if you're able. And if you're a G2, three or four or five, feel free to close that screen down just for the moment. What we're going to be able to do is start to see who the wonderful shavers are. And that's going to really help us be able to lift up these heroes today. So I am going to pow, go to my new screen so I can see these beautiful heads. All right. Here we go, friends. I'm going to do a countdown. Now, the wonderful Mia was going to do this for us, but she's not here today, so I'm going to get the honor. I'm going to count from three, two, one, and shave those heads, and then we can get started. Group one, give me a thumbs up if you're feeling it. Are you feeling it? Yeah, I like that. Edward, too. Let's give me a little hang loose. We're groovy. We're ready to rock. That's it, then. Here we go. Three, two, one. Start shaving those heads, group one. Here we go. We're cutting locks, shaving the heads. And if you can see this, I see a beautiful image of a bunch of different heroes getting shaved right now. This is outstanding. Now, as we're shaving, I'm going to start bugging people to hear a little bit about why they're shaving today and that. And I've already connected with the wonderful Edward N. So Edward, if you're able and comfortable, feel free to unmute. I just love to hear a little bit about why you're shaving today. Edward, how are you today? Great, Phil. Uh, in 2020, we did this from Illinois, the virtual, and now we're living in uh, Tennessee doing it. You had the parent. You were rocking the parrot top that year, I believe. Um, <laughs> right. My, my friend uh, Matt from, from high school back that long, he, he turned us on to St. Baldrick's, and he's been doing it now for, man, a long time. So when he explained to us what St. Baldrick's was, we're like, hey, we have to jump in on this. So as you can see, my my barber, my lovely wife, she had hers done last week. I wasn't able to get off of work. That's why I'm doing the virtual one. But this is nine for me. I think we're both at nine years, each of us. Uh, Edward, great thank cause, you. great cause. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, Edward, thank you to you and your wife. Nine years is incredible, and the inspiration is contagious. So thank you, and I'm sending you a little bit of wind and a little bit of hail today from the wonderful Chicago down to you in Tennessee, all right? <laughs> thank you so much, Edward. Wonderful. All right. Now I'm looking at the dynamic duo known as Logan and Tyler. Logan and Tyler, are you able to unmute? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. How's it going, Logan and Tyler? How's it feeling? You guys are looking good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Logan and Tyler, is this your first time or have you guys shaved before? I've done it four times. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Now, by any chance, do you guys know how much you guys have about raised together? <laughs> Three hundred and fifty. Wow, three hundred and fifty! Congratulations, Logan and Tyler. Thank you so much. And before we send you off, what beautiful state are you guys uh, sending love to St. Baldrick's from? New York. New York. All right. Well, my wonderful East Coasters, Logan and Tyler. Thank you for being heroes. I'm sending good energy your way, and keep that shave up. It's looking good. 
All right. I want to know what's going down. This looks like a butcher shop right now. Lydia, are you just hacking that hair off your head? What's going on there? Do we have scissors capable of cutting those luscious locks? <laughs> yeah, this is a, it's a lot harder to cut through than I was expecting it to be, but uh, we're, we're getting there. We'll get well, it Lydia, all. we appreciate it. Now, you're cutting your hair off, and then are you going to do the full shave, or are you going to do a nice short cut? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing the full. Yeah. Oh, Lydia. Well, you've got, oh, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. We appreciate <laughs> the persistence. I tell you what, I'm going to give you time to dig into that, and I'll come bug you before the end of group one, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Lydia. Thank you. All right, how about Brady D? Brady D, if you can hear me. If you could unmute yourself, Brady, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. It looks like you're outside, Brady, and it looks like it's not too cold. What wonderful state are you coming from? Uh, New York. Oh, another New Yorker. Man, New Yorkers love raising money for St. Baldrick's. I love that. Okay, well, I'm digging that. Now, is this your first year, Brady? Yes, yes, it is. Wow, well, you grew that hair out. How long has that beautiful flow been growing for? Uh... Like seven years seven eight years oh, wow well brady thank you for doing this are you excited about being bald or are you gonna feel like oh i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this uh probably both <laughs> I don't know how yeah. I feel. yeah sometimes our long hair is our strength our power right but don't worry the power comes from within my friend now can i bug you to say my new york friend how much have you raised for that beautiful flow uh about fifteen hundred dollars Wow, 1,500. We're sending good energy your way, Brady. Thank you so much for cutting. And you are kind of in the similar situation as Lydia. We're just cutting that flow off right now before we're shaving. But you guys are looking good. Keep up the good work. And Brady, thank you so much for your support from St. Baldrick's, okay? Thank you. Of course. Now I want to go to Shepron Knaj. Now, Forgive me with the pronunciation of the name, but I feel like we've met before. Have you shaved your head virtually before, friend? I, I have, yes. Don't worry about the name. It's a funky one. I mean, there are two cues. What can you expect, right? Uh, this is year 15 for me, so I'm really excited. Yes. 15. What does that mean now? You're part of the League of Legendary Heroes in year 15, I believe, is a crusader for a cure. I, I think so, yeah. I think that's what it said on the website, so... Congratulations. That's a Thank big so deal. Much. 15 years. Thank you for that. And how much do you, do you know by any chance around how much you've raised so far for St. Baldrick's for, this year? For, yeah, currently sitting at $506. So, yes. Oh, and this year, but every little bit helps, right? Absolutely. Thank you for your dedication to the foundation. Thank you for your inspiration. 15 years is no joke, and you know I'm trying to catch up to you next year. I'm going to be at 15, so I'm coming for you, all right? But I will see you hopefully next year. Same thing. You can lock in 16, and I'll lock in 15. But your yeah. dedication and passion towards the foundation is something we're so grateful for. So keep shaving. It looks good, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Who am I missing now? I see that Brady's flow is getting shorter. Lydia's flow is getting shorter. Edward's almost completely bald. Jared G. Jared, if you're able, I'd love to unmute. Jared, how are you? I believe we've met before. Jared, is this more than uh, time one for you, Shaven? Yeah, I did this uh, last year. I've been doing it since middle school now. Oh, Jared, thank you so much for your dedication in that. And the shaved head looks good. You look more aerodynamic, faster than ever. But Jared, what got you involved with St. Baldrick's originally? Uh, it originally came to my middle school and me and a few friends decided to do it together, and I've just pretty much kept with it since then. Well, Jared, your consistency and just honoring this foundation is something that we value so much and appreciate. And Jared, it's good to see you again. I'm starting to like have repeat friends from these virtual shaves, so it's great. Now, what state are you coming from, Jared? Uh, I'm in Connecticut right now. Nice. Well, we are sending love from a little bit of a blustery day in Chicago to the beautiful Connecticut, Jared. Thank you for doing this and for being a part of the team. We are honored, my friend. Okay, I'm looking at Dan Moy right now. Dan, if you're able and can hear me, love to unmute. Dan, the head looks good. How does it feel? Uh, a lot cooler. <laughs> yeah, but you're already a cool cat, so you're used to that. Dan, what state are you coming from? Uh, I'm in California. Nice, sunny California. I'm loving it. All right. Well, I like the look, the shaved head, and then with the beard on the bottom. It's very 
it's very California-ish in a good way. You just need a pair of Ray-Bans, and maybe who's ever shaving your head can pick you up a convertible, and you're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dan, is this your first year shaving, or have you done this before? No, this is my 12th year. I had a feeling this was your pro at this. What is it that keeps you coming back every year, Dan? Uh, well, it started off as a company fundraiser. A friend of mine got me into it. Um, my mother had been diagnosed with cancer the year before. Mm. So my first year I did it, um, she actually passed away four months after we did the shave. Mm. And I can't imagine, like I know what happens with, with people who are going through the treatment and their friends and family. And for a child to have to go through that is, it's just, it's horrible. Yeah, how can you even imagine, right? I know, I know. Well, Dan, thank you for your honor uh, today and for, hey, we're, we're thinking of your, your mother's spirit today and that as you shave your head. What a beautiful way to remember and honor and pass along the good energy to help others. So, Dan, thank you so much for your consistent support with the foundation. We really appreciate you. And congrats on so many years, man. That is something to be super proud of. Thank you. Of course, of course. All right. Where am I looking now? Group one. I don't want to miss anybody. I'm looking at Kenneth W. Kenneth's got the flow. Kenneth, can you hear me, my friend? Yes, yes, I can hear you. How you doing? Kenneth, I am so good. And this is no joke. You've got some long hair, Kenneth. So are we looking to cut that length off? Are we doing anything special with it? Are we making a necklace for someone with it? What are we doing? So I'm actually donating my hair to Wigs for Kids. Yes. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. And then are you going to go fully bald after you trim the top? Yeah, I'm, I'm shaving uh, all the way bald. Oh, well, Kenneth, thank you so much. How long have you been growing that flow out for? Um, actually, I started right uh, during the pandemic. So I guess it's what, three years, something like that? Yeah, man, no joke. We've been since lockdown three years. You're right. Wow. Well, yeah. it looks good. I'm excited to see the big change from the long hair to back yeah. to the short hair. And now what called you to do this today, Ken? Um, I've just had uh, multiple family members that I've lost to cancer. And, um, you know, I just wanted to be a part of the change and do, doing something special for the kids. Oh, Kenneth, you couldn't have said that any better. That's why we're all here today. Thank you for embodying that. We're going to keep an eye on you. I got to see that beautiful bald head once <laughs> all those locks are gone. But thank you for not only shaving and raising funds, but also donating with for the wigs as well. That is so meaningful and helpful. So Kenneth, we'll keep an eye on you, all right? But sending you love, all right? Most definitely, thank you. Thank you. All right, we are looking good. I'm curious about Team MJK. I see a beautiful backyard. I see beautiful trees. Team MJK, <laughs> can you hear oh, me? Right. Here we are. I like this. This, this is like a reality TV. <laughs> so are you shaving your head, my friend? We had a little time. We had a little tough time hooking up, but we're ready to go now. I like that. Where are you coming from, my dear friend? Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Nice. Well, our friends up here, me from Chicago, and of course St. Baldrick's. A lot of people based out of California. We're sending love to Kentucky. We're loving the St. Baldrick shirts. And is this going to yeah. be your first time shaving? Oh uh, no, it's my nineteenth. Oh, nineteenth. What is yeah, your first you name, my friend? Uh, Jack. 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 Paul. Jack, you are going to be next year if you do this for team for year 20, you're going to be a baron of the brave. You are going to be yeah. a very small group of humans on this planet that do so much for <laughs> cancer, man. Thank you. Yeah, we've been doing it a long time and uh, I've had a lot of good friends that helped me out. And uh, gosh, 19 years. I went back and looked up everything today and, and uh, Team MJK has donated over $380,000 over the 19 years, which is pretty good, I think. Oh, that is more than just pretty good. That's amazing, man. I'm sending good energy your way. Wow. So when's the shave start here? Do we got someone with us ready to shave you? Yeah, yeah I see Don behind me. Don's the shavey and uh, a longtime participant. And so he's going to do the shaving. Then let me see. There's Roger. Hey, Roger. Hey, Roger's going to shave his head too. Um, and so we're going to uh, start here any minute now. All right. Well, the team MJK. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for the amount of funds you've raised and also the awareness. And thanks for just being great humans. We are sending love your way. Looking forward to seeing those bald heads. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. All right. Now I'm looking for, is it Britt? 
Britt, you look like you have a beautiful shaved head right now. How's that feel? It feels fabulous. Well, it looks great. And no joke, I wouldn't say anything if I thought it looked bad, but I think it looks great. Yes, it, this is my second time doing it. I did it um, in 2020. There's all my hair. Oh. Um, yeah. So wow. it's, it's incredibly freeing and very cold the first week afterwards. I have a hat in every single room. But it's um, it's such an easy thing to do to help raise money for cancer research and awareness and for those who are dealing with this. So it's it's a it's a wonderful thing. Well, Britt, you are filling our hearts right now. It looks great. Thank you for doing it not only once, but twice. And raising funds and awareness is something so important and valuable. And we're, that's what we're all here for today. So we are sending you love and appreciation and gratitude. Thank you for everything, Britt. <laughs> Take care. All right. My wonderful friends, I am looking now. And Edward, you look great. It's shaved. Brandon's got the shaved head, getting the beard. All oh the connection. You guys are looking good. Jared's all good. Kenneth's probably got another hour and a half before that hair is gone. <laughs> He's got about 17 years of hair there. So Kenneth, we're gonna give you time. But my team MJK will make sure that by the end everybody can turn their screens back on to show their bald heads. But I love this. Everyone's looking good. Dan too's getting trimmed up in that. St. Baldrick's fam, thank you so much, group one. And as you trim up, we hope you stick around for the shave because we'd eventually love to get everybody back with their shaved heads. Looking good. Everybody from group one, feel free to give a quick wave. We're going to start transitioning group two, but don't go anywhere. Eventually, we want everyone to turn their screens on with their shaved heads. But round of applause, group one. Way to go. Woo! All right. My group twos, if you've got G2 in your name, feel free to start turning your screen on. Group ones are going to start closing their screen down. Lydia, the hair looked great, my friend. Brandon, the hair looks great. Thank you. So much good energy. Wow. Love it. All right. We've got our group twos coming in here. Love it. All right. As our group twos are coming in, our G twos, we're going to have uh, group threes on deck. They're coming in next. And group ones right now already ran around the bases, but I hope our group ones will get to see that shaved head in just a few moments. All right, so we've got our group twos right now. I'm gonna go to the kind and friendly James Duffy. James, are you ready to shave that head, my friend? Absolutely. Now the rumor has it that your wife's ready for it to be shaved as well, and that you purposely blow dry it to annoy her by giving it extra volume. Is there any truth to that? 100%, um, <laughs> although as much as is about to come off, I can't, I can't believe Lydia. I mean, that hair that she just cut off about to, it to do this is amazing. I'm just it. some weirdo who, you know, <laughs> doesn't get a haircut and then blow dries it. I think it looks cool. Everybody should be almost 50 years old and be able to grow a head of hair like this. <laughs> In a perfect world, that would happen, James. But right? I appreciate you giving the shout out to Lydia. Also, I don't know if you saw, but Kenneth's got some crazy long hair too. And Absolutely. Brent too. It's it's super inspiring, but you're right. Well, James, start getting that hair cut off, okay? And we uh, we're cheering you on, okay? I want to ask a question. In group three, is that the is that the actual Sanjay Gupta? Oh, great question. I don't know. I, I will have to bug him in group three there to see if yeah, Sanjay's I in the house. To find out. I like all that. Right. Ooh, we got a little uh, special guest in the house. Now we're going. All right, James, get shaven though. I am going to bug next Jeffrey W. Jeffrey, you look like you're doing the job yourself there. How are you, Jeffrey? I'm doing all right. And yes, I'm, I'm doing it myself. Uh, it, that's all right. You know what? In 2020, that's what I did right here with everybody at the National Shave 2. I, I did it myself. There's nothing wrong. I felt comfortable. I know my head. So good for you. Exactly. Is, this the, is this the first shave you've done or have you done this before? This is my 11th. Wow. Well, congratulations on 11 years. At 10 years, you became a knight commander. So yep. now you are on your way for year 15 eventually to be a crusader Ooh. for a year. So we can't thank you enough, Jeffrey, for your dedication to this foundation. Is there any reason years ago why you started? In research administration. So I actually deal with a lot of the universities and hospitals that are doing cancer research and are receiving funding from St. Baldrick's. 
And about 10 years ago, um, I connected with a local family that was doing a head shave event in the area. And I've been doing it consistently ever since. Oh, well, Jeffrey, you are speaking exactly what this is all about, right? You see the impact that it can have. Thank you for your work in that area to help you know, see you and where funding goes in that. And then also to let this, this mission catch fire and for you to continue to show up every year, Jeffrey, we can't thank you enough. Absolutely. All right. Enjoy that shave, Jeffrey. All right. Who's next? Ryan Irwin. Ryan, if you can hear me and you're comfortable, feel free to unmute. And we're going to, I think you're losing your beard right now, Ryan. Oh, yeah. My son is uh, the shavey and uh, he went after the beard first. I like that. Well, it was a good looking beard. I'm kind of digging the half beard, you know, start a new trend there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Ryan, is this your first year shaving? This is my 10th year. Wow. Congratulations, Ryan. That means that you are officially a Knight Commander this year. And on behalf of myself and St. Baldrick's Foundation, thank you for your continued service towards this foundation, man. That is impressive. You're welcome. All right. So 10 years ago, you started. What what state are you coming from? Uh, we are in Johnsburg, Illinois, not too far from you. Hey, my man, I'm in Woodridge, not too far. OK. And I won't uh, I won't try to have you talk too much. It looks like your son's going to cut you up there. <laughs> well, Ryan, thank you for everything, man. We're cheering you on. We're looking forward to seeing you bald. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Keep it up. John Sherry, I'm going to next. I like the point of view too here, John. This is good. It's like the low shot. John, that beard is full and that head of hair is thick. What are we doing today? Are we doing the beard, the hair, or both? Uh, I'm just doing the hair. I had yes. it down past my shoulders this morning, but I we also donated to uh, to the um, wigs for kids. So wow. Well, I John, off in a few places. John, I think when you go to sleep tonight, I think you can sleep with a good conscience. The fact that you not only donated for wigs for kids, but now you're shaving your head for St. Baldrick's and also just as equally awesome is that you're going to have a shaved head with a really sick beard. So, I mean, I think it works. Yeah. I got a win, win, win here. You might want to play the lotto if you're a public gambling man at all because this might be the day with the good karma you're putting out into the world my friend maybe i will maybe i will and john, <laughs> all right yes jeffrey was who got me into this so oh is that right on zoom yeah he did oh well shout out to jeffrey thank you and john keep shaving it looks great thank you for your service we appreciate it and we are cheering you on my friend thank you of course thank you all right and we're looking good. Jeffrey's just about bald. James is just about bald. Kenneth from Group One with those luscious locks is getting closer to being bald. I'm looking for uh, Saravanan Bala. And forgive me, how do you say the first name, my friend? Um, that's actually my dad's name. It's Saravanan. Oh, okay. What's your name, my friend? Hi, I'm Varun. So Varun. my dad and I is both at the fundraiser, actually. It's so nice to see you. And I love the shirt. I think we're looking very similar here. Now, tell me, how does the head shape feel to you? It's, it's pretty good. Uh, it, it's very free, but I mean, I used to have a very, oh, I'll show you a picture, a very full head of hair. My dad had a beard. Oh, that's so different, but it looks great on you. The shaved head looks good. I'm glad I can, I can do it to something. I can help someone else just by cutting my hair. And, and that's exactly why we're here. And we thank you for your kindness. And we're just extending the hugest amount of gratitude your way. Thank you for shaving. Thank you for being a part of it. Is this your first year by any chance or have you done this before? This is my second year. Um, if we include other fundraisers I've done before this, it's my third. And my dad, I think this is the sixth. Wow. Well, first of all, let me say our appreciation to both you and your father for being doing this multiple times and for giving in other ways as well. So grateful. It looks good on you. Thanks for being here and sending you nothing but good energy your way. Thank you, Mr. B. Love it. All right. I'm looking for D.H. Dale and Chase from Group 2. Hello. We've got a nice shaved head going on. And Next. how are you today, my what? friends? Oh, his turn. Next. Hello. Hello. Oh, we got another person coming? Yeah, that was, that was my son. And this is, this is part of what was left. So. Oh, my goodness. You guys, that is amazing. Now, are you guys teaming up? Today, both of you shaving your heads for kids' cancer? 
Yes, we are. Uh, well, thank you for doing that. And uh, as you are getting shaved, which is probably something on everyone's bucket list to be interviewed while someone's shaving you. Uh, you guys work together. How much did you guys about raise? Do you know by any chance? I'm not sure how much we raised at the moment. Well, thank you for participating and being a part of this. This is an inspiration. Did you guys say this is a, a family combo here? Yes. Awesome. Well, where are you guys coming from? What state? We're out of Oklahoma City. Wow, I love this. Now, one of our wonderful St. Baldrick's friends said that over 33 states are represented. So thank you for being part of one of those awesome 33 states. You guys are looking good. I like that the shaved head and you, are we keeping the beard as well? I would. It's a good looking beard. Keeping the beard. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I should kill me if I shave the beard. Understood. Understood. Well, we all have, you know, our rules in life. Absolutely. So thank you to you both for, for raising funds and shaving your heads. We're sending you well wishes. Thank you for your support, guys. Have a great day. Nice. All right. I'm looking at group two wonderful heroes. And as we're doing that, we still have some great people with shaved heads. And we're pulling up to Liz D. We're unmuting right now. And don't worry, guys, you'll figure it out. Can you hear me, Liz D? All right. We can't quite hear you yet, but no worries. Got it. Sorry. No, no it. problem, guys. This is always a lot going on. It's like there's a camera, there's a mute button, there's someone shaving our heads. This is not a normal situation. So, Liz, you're getting the head shaved today. How's it feel? Yeah, it's it's been um, – I always – Keep it very short, but for Baldrick's, I I grow it out. This this is grown out. Um, it's my fourth year. So, um, what, how many years have you done this, Liz? Forgive me, I missed that part. It's my fourth year. I started during the pandemic. My friend in Syracuse told me about it, and um, Syracuse, New York, and so I'm in Rochester. So, oh, awesome. Well, Liz, thank yeah. you for doing this for not only once but for four times. And New York is representing big time today. So thank you to you and all the friends of New York. It's so great to hear people across the nation from New York to California to Oklahoma City. So many good people doing good things. So Liz, good luck with the shaved head. We're sending love and appreciation your way. Thank you. I'll send some sunshine your way. I like that. I will take it. Take all that sunshine. Okay. <laughs> Group two, if I'm looking, James looks great. Jeff looks great. Look at all this. John's got a lot to do still, but John, we're cheering you on. Uh, that's right. Vernon looks great. D.H., Dale, and Chase looking good. Liz is good. Ryan's good. Friends from group two, I think we are looking great there. And I'm looking at Mark Guerra. Mark, are you around, my friend? Can you unmute by any chance? Mark is on mute. Can you hear me, Mark? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. Well, are you shaving your head today, my friend? Yes, I am. I love it. And is this your first time or have you done this before? Like 20 times. Oh, Mark, that's no joke. 20 times it makes you a baron of the brave. So, Mark, if you got 20 in, man, we can't thank you enough. That's unbelievable. How's it feeling? Are you ready to go bald? Oh, of course. Every year I wait for this. Uh, well, Mark, we can't thank you enough. Is someone going to help you shave or are you going solo today? No, we're at the sports clip here in uh, Bartram Park. Excellent. And they're going to help Hello. you shave? Yeah, they're going to they're gonna do it. All right. Well, make sure they give you a nice towel treatment too, okay? <laughs> You can tell me you can put it on my tab, all right? Mark, you go ahead and get shaved. We can't thank you enough on behalf of St. Baldrick's for all your support. Go ahead and get shaved. We're looking forward to seeing it. And uh, my goodness, group twos, whether you're fully shaved or not, give me a thumbs up, a wave, a hang loose. We're proud of you. Feel free to stick around because at the end, I want to see all these beautiful bald heads. And uh, honestly, some very beautiful beards that I'm extremely jealous of as well, okay? But group two, you guys are heroes. Keep it going. We're going to slowly say goodbye to our group two just for now and welcome in our group three heroes to start getting that ready vibe of shaving. And I like this aerial view of Kenneth 
by the way. It's like getting the hair washed. This is the full treatment. We're going to witness a scalp massage here, I think. So, Kenneth, good for you, my friend. And Team MJK, you guys keep shaving. You guys are heroes, raising funds. I love it. Liz, you are almost fully shaved, and it's looking good. Thank you for your four years of service. Fantastic. And now it's time to jump into group three. So I've got uh, Julian Conway, by any chance. Can you unmute? Can you hear me? And no worries about... Here we go. I can hear you now. Now, I feel like we've met before. Have you done a virtual shave before? Um, I don't know if I've done the virtual one or not, but this is my ninth year. Wow, nine years. Congratulations, my dear friend. One more year of this, and you become a knight commander. That's pretty impressive in a small group of humans on this planet. So thank you for being a part of that. That's unreal. Now, uh, nine years in the books. What got you to start shaving? What was it? Um, the year that I started, um, my dad and I, the previous year, we both had been diagnosed with cancer at the same time. Wow. Okay. My father passed away and, um, I was still undergoing treatment and, um, I'd also lost my mother many years before that to the mm. same and, um, was working at Dell Children's Hospital in Austin, Texas. And they had events there every year and just decided to join up and help, um, and just kept going. And now I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and doing this from home. My grandson is helping shave my head. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, your story is inspiring and pulls right on the heartstrings. So for those we've lost, for those who have been battled, right, we're here today raising funds and awareness to try to make that change for other families. So thank you for being selfless. Thank you for being a repeating participant. And thanks to your grandkid also for helping as well. They're a hero also. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right. I'm going to move over to Sean Natty, if possible. Can you unmute, Sean? You've kind of got a flock of seagulls, 1980s vibe going. Yeah, we just started. So, <laughs> Well, I wish I had a guitar. I would play a little... But uh, the hair side comb like that looks great. Sean, is this your first time? First time, yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being a part and welcome to the St. Baldrick's family. What was it that called you to do this today? Uh, so I've just been kind of growing the hair a little bit longer for the last couple of years. And I uh, decided to do something with it. This was a great idea. So. Love St. Patty's, so that's uh, why we got on the board. You know, it works perfect. You got to get rid of the long hair. St. Patrick's Day's got vibes. St. Baldrick's is all about goodwill and helping others. It's a win-win-win situation. So, Sean, welcome to the crew. Welcome to your first-timers club there. We are grateful, and we can't wait to cheer you on and see you fully bald, okay? Thanks. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for Sanjay right now. Sanjay, are you in the house? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Sanjay, how are you? I'm good. I like the haircut. So, so, so wait one second. Okay. So I did the event on March 10th yes. for my birthday in honor of my father. Oh. And Facebook didn't send out 2,000 invites. So, so. so I'm here so that I'm doing a second fundraiser so that all those people, we're right now that 2,900 people get an invite and we're in integrity to do it because this is important to do. So I know it's not very long, but that's because I did it two weeks ago. Well, Sanjay, but there is no judgment. We're here. You are here for it. All right, right, now we can do this. And you know what? I know the last person might have been disappointed with the Sanjay Gupta that showed up. <laughs> I'm Sanjay Gupta, Chicago. You can find me on the internet. Love Number it. one is the bullet. So... God bless y'all. Thanks for being inspiring. <laughs> Sanjay, I'm in Chicago land, so I'm sending you extra love. I'm a hop and a skip away. But keep shaving that head, and thank you for showing back up and being a part of this. We really appreciate it. Thanks for sending all those invites out. Everyone who's aware can donate, support, help in some way. And you know what? Sanjay brings up a good point, St. Baldrick's fam. Anyone who's listening right now on the live feed, there's a very easy way to donate. Find one of the people that are shaving that you've been inspired by. Donate to their page. Donate directly to St. Baldrick's. 
there's no lose situation. We're raising funds and awareness to get specific grants for research that's changing the world. And that's, again, one of the main reasons why Sanjay showed up again today after already shaving his head two weeks ago. Incredible. So my group three fam, I'm looking for the wonderful TJ Higgins. With a, I like the background, by the way, TJ. It looks very sophisticated. How are you today, TJ? Now, TJ, I think you might be slightly muted. No worries, though. The phones sometimes are a little persnickety. <sighs> and I'm so sorry, TJ. No worries. We uh, can't get you unmuted, but keep trying it. And when we get you, we'll definitely catch up with you. No worries. Every once in a while, especially Zoom on the phone, it glitches and it doesn't like to unmute even though you try. So keep trying that out, TJ. We'll jump back to you, okay? All right. Zach S. in the house and looks partially shaved. Zach, look at this hairdo. I don't know, man. I, I might want to just leave it. It leave looks it like good. That? No, you got to go all the way. All the way. That's right. The To quote a uh, Slipknot song, which is probably a strange reference right now, the only way is all the way, my friend. So, uh, Zach, is this your first year doing this? This is my 18th year. Well, Zach in the house. I'm sending good energy your way. Zach, you are two years away from being part of the extremely elite group known as the Baron of the Brave. How does that feel to be approaching 20 years, man? Yeah, can't wait. Plan to do it every year. Wow. Well, what was it all those years ago that started this, Zach? My brother is a childhood cancer survivor of over 20 years himself, so I do it every year in honor of him. Oh, well, I can't imagine a better and more heartwarming story, the fact that we're a survivor in that and you are giving back to help others become that same way. So Zach, on behalf of all of us here, we are grateful. We are inspired. What, what a message. Thank you for doing this. And I can't wait to be cheering you on on your 20th year in a row one day. Okay. Yeah. So my, keep up the good pleasure. work. And I didn't mean to scare away your barber there. I think your barber got scared. She was a, she was just attending to our, our new daughter, our one month old <laughs> baby. So, Oh my gosh. Well, all right. Great. Well, you guys got your hands full. You're both heroes. Best of luck with the little baby, too. That's extra good vibes. And keep that haircut going, man. You guys are doing great. Thank you for Thank everything. Thank you very much. You too. Keep up the great work. <laughs> awesome. All right. I'm going to be jumping soon. Who we got here? David Caesar. Any chance you can unmute, David? How's it going? Good, David. I kind of dig in the hair. It's kind of like a, uh, I went to a Rush concert. And then things got out of control. <laughs> I need my lighter. I need my lighter. Here is it. <laughs> now, is this your first time? This is a lot of hair you're cutting off here. Um, the first time I did it was eight years ago. We did it for a baby named Jonah, um, who unfortunately passed away. Um, and then I've done it, I think, three or four times since then. Usually every couple of years to let my hair grow out to a decent length. Well, we can't thank you enough for that. And we are uh, remembering baby Jonah on behalf of you and your friends that are raising funds to hopefully stop more situations like that. And that's why we're here. But thank you for coming back again. And I, I'm i going to miss the long hair, but you know what? You, you look good with the bald head. It looks good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. You both well, the good work. Thank you. Keep shaving. It's doing good. And David, thank you on behalf of St. Baldrick's brother. We can't wait to see it fully shaved. Okay. Take care. <laughs> sure thing. Now I'm going to go to TJ really quick again. TJ, don't want to put you on the spot. Any luck with the unmuting and no worries. If there's no thumbs up, I'll leave you alone for now. <laughs> TJ, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to sign language soon, my friend, but no worries. No, I'm so sorry, but keep working on it. We're going to get you there. I want to hear your story, TJ. Send in love. No rush and worries. All right. I'm looking for group three here, Mike Otterman. Mike, I, I think I cut you off when you were mid-beard. Is that true? Yeah. No, I just started early, so I'm half off. I've always shaved my head for seven years. This year, I decided to go with the beard. I love it, man. Well, you kind of got like a a colonel from the civil war kind of vibe right now, which I, I don't know if that's great, but, uh, but it, it, I kind of like it. Yeah. My wife called me a schnauzer for the last uh, 
two months. So I, finally, I'm going to get back to clean shaven. Well, just to let your wife know, schnauzers are a breed that are known to be very loyal. So Yeah, very fair. I, thank you for that. Very so, intelligent puppies. But, but, uh, uh, but any but, reason you're doing this? Yeah, I lost my little girl, Simone, um, at the age of 26 months. Thank you. Uh, seven and a half years ago. So this was one of the first things that uh, our family did and attended just to start the healing process. And um, I'm sure I'll be with the other guy who's going for 20 years, a couple of years. This is, uh, this is a great way to pay tribute to her. And, and hopefully we help a lot of kids in the, in the process. Well, Mike, thank you for your dedication. And of course, thinking of Simone and, and the moment and taking that energy and using that for good. I think that's a beautiful way to put it to part of the healing process. So uh, inspiring. Thank you for your dedication. And we're sending love, health, happiness, and patience through all of that. But let's get that beard going so no one calls you a schnauzer ever again, okay? Take the other side off now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Now, I uh, go into group three here. I'm Oh, Liz Doyle, by the way, from group two. The head looks great. Nice and shaved. I like that. Zach lost just about the rest of his hair. David, too, looking good. Uh, Sanjay looks nice and shaved. Very nice. Sean is officially shaved too. Julian Conway doing good. We're getting that hair off little by little. Team MJK, I haven't forgotten about you. You guys are rock stars. Team MJK, keep it up. Keep up the good work. The good work. Any updates, Team MJK? Look at those three bald it's heads. Yeah, there they are. Doing good. Looking good, guys. Thank you so much. All the years of support, the, the fundraising you've done, it's its unbelievable. Thank you. Relatively small team this year, but we still got close to four or $5,000 and more to come for this year. So we're adding to our total. My friends, that is an incredibly generous, wonderful, and proud amount. Congratulations. Thank you, and thanks for always backing up St. Baldrick's. We look forward to seeing you guys yet again in another event, okay? Be there next year for sure. There. Love it, guys. Send in love. Thank you so much. All right. Thank so you. We've, got, we've got group three friends, and I'm trying to make sure we had a chance to talk to everybody. The wonderful TJ Higgins, I wish I could hear from you, my friend, but no worries if not. But please know that we are sending you Lots of great energy. We like the shaved head. Thank you for supporting St. Baldrick's. And TJ, I hear you, I think. Oh, yeah. Ah, you I hear, hear you. Hey, all right. I pushed the right button. Now, TJ, have you shaved your head for Baldrick's before, my friend? Yes. Uh, I think uh, me and Dan Moy are the – we've we done it together, so I lost track. He said 12 years, so it must be 12 years. I love it. Well, that's a pretty – impressive thing when you've done it so many times that you've lost track so tj thank you for shaving your head thank you for repeating and doing it over and over again was there a main reason you started back in the day i know dan shared his story as well um i i didn't have any reason other than the the crazy brazilian guy that started the team at our work um it sounded like a good cause and a good time and and it was and it has been Oh, well, TJ, thank you. And I've said to someone else too, right? We can lay our head down on the pillow at night to night knowing we were part of something so much bigger than our individual selves. So TJ, thank you for your service towards Baldrick's. We look forward to seeing you yet again in another shave and keep up the good energy and faith, brother. We appreciate it. You'll do. Thank you. Of course, of course. All right, my wonderful St. Baldrick's friends. We're looking good there. I've got this final... Final look. It looks like we've got a lot of shaved heads. Go ahead and show that off. I've got a nice shaved face from Mike O. Looks good. John Sherry's got that bald head. Love it. Dan Moy. You know what? I'm loving this. If everybody's got a chance, because I think we've only got three groups today, and someone let me know if I missed anybody, because I want to lift you all up. Scott O'Connell, we never got a chance to meet you, Scott. I like the shaved head. How are you today? Uh, a lot lighter right now. Thank you. You had a nice looking hairdo. I saw you in the waiting room. That was looking good. So what's your reason for shaving today, Scott? I started shaving 15 years ago because one of the dispatchers I worked with had a daughter that was going through a cancer battle and, uh, she didn't win. Um, but 
we started shaving my son and I for several years. Uh, I wasn't going to shave this year and I walk in and one of our dispatchers is currently having a daughter going through a cancer battle. So I was back at it. Well, Scott, thank you. I, I'm sorry to hear of those stories. And that's the reason why we're brought to, and called to this mission. But I also want to thank you for your um, consistency, your bravery, your honesty, and for being here and being a part of, as we keep saying, something so much bigger than our own individual selves. It, it feels good. It's like a family we're a part of, a brother and sisterhood. So Scott, thank you for your dedication, for raising funds, and for being part of the cure and the, and the reason that we're all here today. Yeah, it's been a close, a cause close to my family's heart for the entire time. Uh, started with with one kid, and then you know, next thing you know, every year there's somebody else's kid. One year it was my son's best friend who had cancer, and he won. He's he's their survivor, which is great, but that not everybody true. does. Well, that's what we're here for, right? To make more survivors and to eventually conquer kids' cancer. That's what we're here. So. Sean, I'm uh, sorry, that's Sean. Scott, thank you so much for the reminder and thank you for the inspiration and energy today. We really appreciate it. You bet. Of course. All right. My founda foundation, St. Baldrick's family. Is there Hello. anyone that we've missed here? Let's bring up those people. My wonderful yes. Saint Mike my from New Jersey here. Yeah, let's see. It's Mike from New Jersey here. For some reason, my video is on driving safe mode, and I can't figure out how to change it. No worries. Well, Mike, I I can hear you, my friend. Now, Mike, have you shaved your head? Or are you going? Are you? I shaved? did. Okay. Yeah, I I, uh, I shaved at a uh, local uh, hair salon just about an hour ago. Well, Mike, thank you so much. Is this your first time shaving? No, I've been shaving. I'm a night commander. I know it's over ten years. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, wow. Well, well, Mike, thank you so much for your service over the years. Sounds like you're getting closer to that year 15, which is Crusader for a Cure, which is great. And good news, Mike. I think we see your face, my friend. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, the head shaved looks great and the amount of years. And we like that St. Baldrick shirt you're wearing, by the way, way to represent. But what, what state are you coming from? I'm in New Jersey. New Jersey. I like that. East Coast representing today. I like that a lot. So uh, the reason maybe you were called here, what were you called to St. Baldrick's for, for all these years? Um, I, I don't, uh, thank God, I don't know anybody personally, but I, I think it's a great cause and uh, I just want to do what I can to try to stop childhood cancer. Um, I do Movember for men's cancer and I've been doing St. Baldrick's. So I've been doing both of them for a few years. Well, Mike, thank you so much for giving back to the world in, in many different ways. Movember is also something that is super impressive that many of my friends do as well. So I love that you gave that a shout out also. But Mike, thanks for your dedication to St. Baldrick's and that it's uh, inspiring. And I'm cheering you on to become a crusader for a cure eventually for year 15, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate wow. the nice one. Of course, Mike. I'm glad that we got to connect too. That's awesome. My dear friends. In the gallery, I'm looking around. I see a lot of bald heads, and I think we've just about got everybody. But if you're comfortable and able, feel free to turn that screen on. I want to flood this Zoom call with a bunch of beautiful bald heads. And man, look at this group. It looks good. Wow. I am seeing so many heroes right now. Lydia, the bald head, looks good. It took a while to get through those that hair, but it looks good. How does it feel, Lydia? It feels very light. I feel like I've just lost, uh, I mean, it's, it's quite a lot of hair that I lost off my head. So I feel <laughs> very, very light. And it took a lot of goes to get it all gone, but I, uh, I feel great. Well, thank you for your dedication and persistence to get it off, first of all, <laughs> and for being a part of something, you know, that's so near and dear to all of our hearts. We're grateful for you. We're proud of you. And uh, we hope you we, you go for a run now and you can go faster than you ever have before. Oh yeah. I'm going to be so fast. <laughs> well, Lydia, <laughs> thank you so much for sending you love. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, my friends, I see so many great bald heads here. You know what I'm going to do? I have to, I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to take a beautiful pic right now with all those bald heads. 
I got to post that for sure. That is just super inspiring. But I know that we've had a great time here and we're coming up to the end of the hour. My dear St. Baldrick's friends, feel free to message me if there's anything I officially forgotten. But if I'm looking at our virtual shave online right now, as I look off screen, together, you heroes so far have raised over $117,000. How about that? You want to raise the roof, spirit fingers, flex, dab. I don't even know what's in anymore. Clap to yourself, the golf clap, right? Do a wave, whatever it is. Congratulations. Each and every one of you played an important role in making that happen today. And it's hard to put in words, but the best way I think that we can help St. Baldrick's even further is to next year, if you're interested, do it again or invite other people. Use this experience as a platform to show them that what they can accomplish together as a big group can really make huge, huge advancements in helping cure childhood cancers. So huge congratulations to each and every one of you. And as the St. Baldrick's crew has asked me to do, and I humbly accept, they want to extend their deepest appreciation and gratitude to each and every one of you for your commitment, your time, your energy, and your hair in order to raise finances, awareness, and support. Dear Kelsey, is there anything else we need to say before we wrap this up and just say thank you to our heroes? No, I just want to thank all of you for coming and joining across the nation today. And Phil, thank you for lending your kind spirit and um, just generosity in navigating this event today. And I hope you all had a great time. Um, and please know how much we appreciate all of the dollars that you are raising and the hope that you are providing to families who are battling and the research that is going to come of it. So thank you guys all so much. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Yes. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Health, happiness, and patience. And hope to see you all soon in the virtual scene. Take care. Be proud of yourselves.